प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चंस देन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू फोर इट इज रिलेटेड टू योर डेटा सफिशियंसी देन सम गाइडलाइन हैज गिवन सम इंस्ट्रक्शन हैज गिवन मार्क आंसर ऑप्शन ए इफ क्वेश्चंस कैन बी आंसर विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ स्टेटमेंट वन अलोन मार्क बी इफ इट विल बी इट विल बी आंसर्ड बेस्ड ऑन द स्टेटमेंट टू एंड मार्क सी इफ बोथ स्टेटमेंट वन एंड टू आर नीडेड टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन एंड मार्क डी इफ क्वेश्चन कैन नॉट बी आंसर इवन विद द हेल्प ऑफ बोथ ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट A means first a statement one alone is sufficient. B means a statement two is sufficient. C combinedly sufficient. D after combined combining also not sufficient. These are the instructions. Then uh, just we'll read the question and accordingly we'll try to understand how to do. Question number one: The selling price were to be increased by ten percent. The sales would reduce by ten percent. In what ratio the profit change? Question is telling. The selling price has increased by ten percent. Sales had decreased by ten percent. Then profit, how to calculate? Can be able to calculate the profit based on this data if selling price is increased by ten percent and sales is reduced by ten percent. Okay. Now we'll just read statement one. The cost price remains constant. If cost price remains constant, then can we able to give the answer percentage profit? How much it will be? Or second statement, the cost price increased by ten percent. Then we have to first check a statement one. Like just we'll write in simple for simple format. Same thing it is written. Selling price minus cost price into sales that will give you the P. Okay, P means total value, whatever is there. P one is equal to sales price minus cost price into S. And P two, if sales has increased by ten percent, and selling price has increased by ten percent, and sales has reduced by ten percent, then it will come one point one SP minus CP into this one. You just take the ratio because this ratio will decide you will get the profit or not, or how to get the profit. Like one point one one S into SP minus this one. Here, in numerator and denominator both has given in terms of variable where. Selling price and cost price, we are not able to cancel out. Means in this way, we will not able to calculate P1 by P2. Means a statement one, if cost price remains constant, then we will not able to calculate. How we'll calculate 1.1 SP minus CP and SP minus CP? We don't have any idea. What is exact value? Change we have the idea. Selling price how it is changed? This is increased by 10 percent. But base how much it was? We are not knowing. no means a statement one is not sufficient at any way because we don't have any idea about the exact value of cost price or selling price any one we have then we will able to calculate the other but we don't have any idea only given the percentage change percentage change is not sufficient to find p1 by p2 then a statement two the cost price increased by 10 price 10% now just suppose if this has changed to 1.1 cp then what will happen 1.1 will become common to 1.1 SP minus 1.1 CP. Then, at numerator and denominator, this equation will change 1.11 as. Then, if you are putting cost price is 10% extra, 10% increase as per a statement two, then equation will change like this. Then, what will happen? You will able to calculate. How? What is the value? We are not interested at all because it is data sufficiency. Question is only we have to just check which statement is sufficient to answer the question. What is the value exact will come? It is immaterial. It is coming that only certainty we have to check. Certainly it is coming. Unique solution is coming. It is sufficient or not? Then we can mark the mark the option B because a statement two is sufficient but a statement one is 